Wix Forms tutorial, how to set up Wix Forms. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up standard Wix Forms and how you can create custom forms on Wix. So let's get into it. Now, over here, I'm just gonna open up this sample site that I have created. It's just a very simple site. Once I open it up, there's nothing. Now, what I want to do is once anyone enters the website, I want like a welcome form to be displayed every time someone visits the website. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on select an edit site over here and now I'm just going to slow it down and take you guys step by step on how to set up a standard form on Wix. Now you're just going to click on select an edit site and this will open up the dashboard for the website and what you're going to do is you're going to go on to the website editor. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for this to load up and we're just going to go and click on the website editor. So over here you're just going to click on edit site and now this will open up the Wix website editor and we're just going to wait for a couple of seconds for our website to load onto the website editor to get started with creating or applying a Wix form onto our website. Now you can see our website editor has been loaded up. Now you can see on your left, you have your navigation panel. And what you're going to do to add a form is that you're just going to click on this plus icon, the add icon over here. And once you click on the add icon, this menu will pop up. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and over here, you're going to find contact and forms. So you're just going to click on this. And now from here, you find different forms. So you have a contact form, a order form, these are just some sample forms that you can work with and then you also have google maps and then you have chat box forms as well but what you're going to do is you're going to add whatever kind of form you want so i want a subscription form or, or a join our mailing list form so i'm just going to click on the subscribe over here and then i'm going to pick out one of these forms so i think i'm going to go with this one and this will open up every time someone logs on to my website so i'm just going to place this over here i'm going to wait for my form to load up now once you have your form loaded up, you can customize it. Now, let's say I want this to say, um, welcome, join our mailing list for exclusive deals and lookbooks. So I want this. And what I'm going to do is I want to want to reduce the font size a bit. And obviously you can change any of these settings. So maybe I want to change it like this. So you can change uh, the theme of the text. You can change the font of the text but I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm just going to change up this font and I'm going to reduce the size like this and now this is like the submit button so you can click on the settings over here and you can change the settings for how people are going to submit the form so once a person fills out after uh, a person submits they're going to get a thanks for subscribing message or i want to change the message to maybe thanks for joining so you can customize that as well thanks for joining and then you can set a time for when the message show after submission or it should show always now I want to set a time and I want this to only appear for six seconds after they submit the form and then it should automatically disappear. And now I'm just going to close that up. Now after that, you're just going to leave the email field where people are going to add their email. So this is from where you're going to get your actual email. And just like that, I'm going to click on save over here. And although Wix does auto save, I just want to save this. And now I'm just going to click on publish. And now this latest form is live. And I'm just going to click on view site over here. And you're going to see that my new form is live. So you can see over here, I have my form over here. And if I just click on join our mailing list, and I get this thanks for joining message. And this is how easy it is for you to create a simple little form using Wix. Now, this is a standard form and you're gonna find many different templates for the standard forms on Wix. So you can see if we go into the contacts and form section, you have all of the basic forms that you might want uh, available. But if you do want to create a custom form, that is also a, a feature that is available on Wix. It is a bit complicated to create a custom form but it is still possible. Now for that, what you really need to do is you need to go and you need to search for your content manager. So you're just gonna click on over here on the plus icon, we went to the contacts and forms, just two steps below that you have your content manager and you're just gonna click on this. You're gonna click on add to site. So you're just gonna add the content manager to your site. 
And what this does is this enables you to create custom forms on Wix. Now you can see over here, you have your content manager and you can add a preset for your content manager. Now I'm just going to leave it at services. Now from over here, this is going to create a collection of services that you're providing or just like a collection for you to customize. And from that, you can actually create your custom form. So we're just gonna wait for this to load onto our website. Now, once you have your content manager added, you're going to find it in your main navigation panel on your left. So you find your content manager over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this form that I previously created and show you guys how to create a custom form. So from this, you're going to go into your content and you can just click on manage content and you're going to add a contact form. So you're going to click on that. And then from here, you can either do this right above the Wix website editor, or you can go back into your Wix dashboard. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Wix dashboard and you're going to find on your left bottom, you have the content manager. You're going to click on that. And then you can create your custom forms from here, or you can create them from here. That's totally up to you. So what you're going to do is you're going to add item and you can create like whatever kind of form you want. So you can click on manage fields and you're going to add, if you want to remove the submission time, you can, and you can click on add field over here and then you can create different fields. So maybe I want to add your age and then this is going to be a number field and I'm going to click on save. And maybe I just want to create like a form for people that want specific lookbooks according to their appearance. And I want to create a form for them to submit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add field and I'm going to add your style. And then I'm going to add save and I'm going to add your favorite color. I'm going to save and I'm going to add another field called your school dress code limitations. I'm going to click on save and you can make this like very specific. So you can click on add field and let's say you have your gender and then you can add the field type. So if you want this response to be a text, image, balloon, number, date and time, uh, contact, rich text, reference, a video, audio, anything. So you can customize that as well. So I could add your picture and then you can add a photo so this contact field people will only be able to fill this out if they reply with a picture i'm going to click on save now that i've added all of my fields i'm going to click on save over here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a look at the submission form so i'm going to change the contact form and i'm going to click on add item and i'm just going to click on manage fields and i'm going to click on the properties of the submission time i'm going to save this and i'm going to just leave it like that and i have this contact form and what i'm going to do is i can now apply this contact form onto my website so how i'm going to do that is by clicking on over here and i'm going to click add a dynamic page i'm going to change the name of the contact form to your personal lookbook. I'm going to click on save and I have the additional settings. Now, once I have added all of that and my contact form is ready, I'm just going to click on add a blank dynamic page where this page and this form will now be displayed. So you can see over here now I have this little form available. What I can also do is I can place this form and I can just place it on the home channel if I want. So if I go back into my home page, then I can click on my content manager and I can click on main and I can click on add content elements. Then I can add the form that I created right onto my basic website. So if I click on save over here and I click on publish, then my new custom works form is now available on my website. So this is how easy it is for you to create your forms on Wix. It could be a custom form or it could even be a regular simple form provided by Wix. It's simple, easy, and although the custom forms are a bit difficult to understand initially, you do get the hang of it once you try it once or twice. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own forms on Wix and create your own custom forms as well. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.